Corey Sai, welcome to your read. We done swinging? Corey, welcome to your read. We're going to look at the tarot for you and the person on your mind. So go ahead, stick one person in your mind. Not the 12 people you've been meeting on Tinder. Just stick the one in your mind that you're actual contact with. And uh, we're going to see the energies between the two of you. Um, these are general reads, so take what resonates. Leave the rest for everybody else, Aquarius. Don't stress it if it doesn't sound like your story. This is your side. This is a shady person's side. I hope you stuck them in your head. <laughs> uh, ooh, are they dealing with baby mama issues? Someone's dealing with baby mama issues. Just kidding. No. But maybe that's in their challenge. The Empress is in their challenge. Maybe they're dealing with a mother or maybe it's just like a mother or motherly energy there. I don't know. Let's see what the energy is between the two of you. The devil energy. Oh, this is spicy. We're going to have a spicy read for the Aquarius, you and this person. Wow. The energy between the two of you is the devil overthinking as well, though. I feel like overthinking from your side, maybe. And there's a little bit of overthinking from... No, not a little... A lot of bit of overthinking from their side as well. Um, why you're here, five of coins. Okay, like, the rule for this read was to kind of, like, pick somebody that you are in contact with, but I feel like there is no contact here with you and this person. Simple, because it's the five of coins. You want to know why they left you out in the cold. Um, justice here on your side in the past, um, there's something unbalanced here. Now, when I see justice in the past position, it's like, was anything ever established with you and this person? I don't know if anything was ever established with you and this person, Aquarius. I, in fact, I feel like maybe this person you just met, like, one or two dates maybe and nothing was ever really established and maybe they just kind of ghosted from you high priestess here is your strength you know your strength is that you know your value but you have a higher understanding of astrology tarot you have the knowledge of that higher text as well as uh somebody ignores you you can ignore them too you're good at that nine of wands with three of wands challenge there um, you're not waiting around for love situations right now to kind of show up here. I feel like uh, you've gone through kind of the rough with love situations in your past as well with justice. The hangman is what bridging you guys together. There's nothing here in the physical that's bridging you guys together. I know a lot of you picked somebody in your head that you're not really in contact with. Although I've said make sure you're in contact with the person or maybe the contact's in very minimal because it's like nothing's really holding this together, bridging this read together. Nothing is there. Uh, I'm sorry, this is going to be a trigger warning for you. This person here, they're not showing up. and They don't even want to show up in their own read. Their energy is of conflicts. They know that there's a conflict with you and like trying to take care of you and being there for you. You're very sweet. You're very loving. You've showed them that. Yeah, they know that. Why they would be here for the read if they were here listening to this read is because they're trying to strike some sort of balance in their life, but I don't feel like that that's with you because they're not showing that. Their strength is the Queen of Cups. Emotionally, their, their image is looking somewhere else over here instead of at your side saying, you know, they, they're trying to manifest a dream here. They're trying to create something, but it's not there with you. Ten of Swords here. This is, um, they're upcoming. There's something ending there for them, but I feel like it's an ending with you here. Let's not BS the BS 
this is not going to be the, the read for you, Aquarius. This isn't going to be the read where you think that it's connecting here. If there is a no, if, if you're like being cold, distant, and not communicating to them, this is, this is your story. Ten, ten, eight, eight on this side. Mm, eight of cups here. The universe is hiding from you is that you're not walking away from poison. In fact, you're overthinking the things that this person has laid out with those eight of cups. You, you, you're actually overthinking that. You're thinking, oh, no, but what if they come back? You know, maybe, you know, I'll come back and I'll walk towards that. And I think what the universe is actually trying to get you to do by the no communication thing is to, it's gradually pushing you to walk away here. Your suggested approach is to drop it. The universe is saying, drop it. Ten of Wands. I don't see it any other way. And if you don't want to drop it, the universe is going to force you to drop it. Trust me, because those wands get really freaking heavy carrying them for a while. What that does is it causes some sort of tower moment for you. And we don't have the tower here, so I won't call it. But um, carrying those wands for too long, yeah, there could be a tower moment happening there. Um, Eight of Wands, um, what's your hopes and fears is you want some sort of communication. This person may also be kind of foreigner or they may be living overseas or just very far away from you. Um, what is very far? Four hours by car. Anything past that, that's far for me. Um, the full here in the upcoming future, I feel like there's a restart on life for you and them. I feel like they're moving forward towards something new and you're moving forward towards something new here. It's just how I see it. I'm sorry if this read is triggering you. I'm sorry if this read, but this person's not showing me anything that they want to create with you. They're showing me that they want to create with the new thing, the balance in their life. They're being a little selfish on their side. And on your side is like you're trying to act cool, but you're overthinking this. Let's just call a duck a duck. It's okay. It's okay to trigger ourselves when we look at tarot. It's okay for these cards to talk trash and tell you, hey, yeah, you're wrong for thinking that this is going to manifest into something. It's okay. That's why we do the spiritual work. That's why we're here reading tarot. That's why we're here, you know, that's why we do prayers at night. That's why we believe things. And I'm sorry if I triggered some of you, but let's think about this from a spiritual perspective because if you're here listening to tarot, you believe in spiritual. If you don't believe in spiritual, you're just listening to the tarot, you might as well cut one of those things out and, uh, you know, see, will they call me? One, two, three. No, they won't call me. You know, you might as well just do that. But you're here for a spiritual lesson and this higher priestess is in your strength, so I know this is going to resonate. Think about people in Ukraine that are going through war, that they've just been bombed, they've lost their homes, they have less food, they have less of everything. The only thing that I see them doing on CNN is I've seen them pray. Because Russia can't take away prayer from Ukraine. When everything is gone, when everything is over, the universe is trying to get you to pray here. It's trying to get you to figure out. Walking away from these situations is healthy. And sometimes you have to walk away from these poison cups. It's poison. Let's pull a advice card from the universe, from the animal oracle. Yeah, you got to walk away because the only thing that's bridging you guys together is something spiritual. Yeah, it, and you guys, you guys may have triggered each other into something spiritual here, Aquarius. I get that. But it doesn't mean that they're your soulmate. In fact, they're just here to show you a lesson about this devil between the two of you. Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. They are. Prayer, prayer brings miracles. If you don't believe it. And I see the cow and we just got through with Taurus season. So manifestations as well. Like, you know. Because I'm thinking Venus and that type of stuff in the number 15 here. I think, you know, you really got to put in the spiritual work before you can start manifesting some new reality here. And with the full card here at the end of the read is you manifest something brand new. Something that's willing to follow you around like that little dog as well. 
And that's all I got. But yeah, this is... This cow spirit is also about nur nurturing things. So like for some of you, I'm going to recommend this now. If this read triggered you and this is your read and you're just really pissed that it's your person and they're not going to actually put any effort to come back towards you, I'm asking you to do this. Um, plant something. A plant. You know, kind of like what I got on the wall here. Give it water for seven days. Take care of it. Or take care of a stray animal. Take care of something. Nurture it for seven days. See what changes in your thought pattern here. Something big is going to break for you here. And something new, something better is going to come for you. Because you start to kind of see past this devil. And you are powerful. When it comes to the spiritual life, Aquarius, this devil is going to walk away from you. Because the devil can't put up with the Aquarius. That's all I got for you, and I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy. Bye, Aquarius.